Hey guys, Barbara here. Today I'm going to show you how to make these beauties cinnamon twists. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. Say hello to my mother. Hi everybody. She's not shy, okay? <laughs> Joe and I are working hard for these days. Say hello to my guest, Mario Ramirez from Box 11. <laughs> Off sales. Today I've got jewelry because Joe's sick. I don't need it. And, yes, Joe's sick. That's good. And we're on a roll. Made your aqua little one. Attack! Where shall we start? Because it all looks so good. Let's start with this bread. You're watching the Bear Pantry Show with my sister. <laughs> this is what we're going to need one tablespoon or one packet of yeast. I measured for you guys already. It's going to be four to four and a half cups of flour. It's one of these doughs where we're going to start with liquid first and add the dry. Quarter cup of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of salt, quarter cup of butter, soften the room temperature, and one egg. And this is a half a cup of milk that I just nuked in the microwave. And this is three quarter cups of water from the faucet, and it's warm, okay? I'm going to use a little bit of the water first to just go ahead and add the yeast and a little bit of the sugar just to activate the yeast, okay? So I'm going to get a little bit more water because this is too dry right there. Go slowly, all right? I'm also teaching Jada how to do this because she's not really good at making those. Because she tends to knead it while it's too dry. And then she's trying to force it to come together. And it needs to be a little bit more wet, right? So the recipe called for that amount of liquid that I had before, the four and uh, or four and a half cups of flour. Well, I'm not going to even need the half a cup of flour. A little bit more liquid, and this should be ready. If you do a mistake and you get a little bit too wet, just add a little bit of extra flour. Yes, look at this dynamic angle Jada is getting for you guys. <laughs> you guys know I have a different recipe here for um, cinnamon rolls that I love. It uses pudding, pudding mix. But this is different. This is a twist. I imagine this would be almost like a churro, but it's not fried. It's going to be baked, all right? So just let me get this smooth for you guys, and then we're going to cover it up. And set it aside to um, double in size for about 45 minutes to one hour.
All right guys, so let's roll this out to 16 by 12. teaspoons of cinnamon. six nine twelve out of it instead of sixteen out of that roll and because look at these they look too scrawny when you do them the single way the recipe says so I agree with Joe to do them the double you go ahead and preheat the oven to 350 all right and we're gonna put this on greased baking sheets so 350. All right guys, so you know me well enough to know that I would do another one, right? Because I want to see if I can um, do it cleaner. That one was like messy to do. So I did four strips this time. Still the 16 by a little bit bigger than 12. No, no it's still 12, but I just did three, three, three. Three, 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 three. So I'm gonna do this one. I'm just trying different techniques to see what would work, okay? To make it a little bit neater to do. And see, I, I can't get it to be like the one size. I tried. So let's put some on this part. Kinda like when you're doing a sandwich, right? You dress everything on one side. Now let me tell you what's going on behind me. That's the second 15 minutes that I have given that first batch because my oven will not come up above 325 for the temperature. And even so, it took like an hour and a half to get to that. The oven is still acting up, guys. All right, so there we go. Let's take this piece. Try to match it up, all right? Now, this doesn't have to be too thin like you're doing pie dough because this is like a bread, right? Well, already I can feel the sides are sealing quick, more quickly than when I did the other batch with the little pieces. What do you think, Joel? Different already, right? Um, 
So now we're going to cut off a strip. And let's see if it'll be neater to twist. I think it's a little bit neater. So you're going to have to figure out a way that suits you, okay, that makes you happy. And there you go, first one. And do one more. Because that's an end one, so let's do a middle one. Alright, so this is how I would do it. Cut four strips, dress one side, and twisty twisty. See I have the leftovers from the first one that I'm going to sprinkle on top when I'm done. So let's take a look at what it looks like in the oven right now after half hour at 325. Hmm, I'm not sure if they're done. I'll let them go like another five minutes. Alright guys, so this is a lot neater. Don't worry about this. I was putting that on without buttering the thing first so I scraped it back off. But it's a lot neater to do it this hair way and plus these are thicker. See this fresh batch right here that's the second batch that I made and here comes Joe <laughs> he already no tasted out of the first batch what are you coming up in here for no, it's, it's what you're doing. <laughs> so they're ready to be sprinkled with cinnamon sugar icing sugar I thought about making like a little sugar glaze you know icing sugar glaze to put on top you know the kind of stuff that you would put on cinnamon buns or cinnamon rolls but don't do it this dough is already too sweet okay this dough uses a quarter cup of sugar to four cups of flour the uh, cinnamon roll recipe that I have here at the side already, the one where I use the pudding mix, uses only two tablespoons of sugar to eight cups of flour. So you can see the math right there, right? This is like super sweet. It's good enough with the icing sugar, like right here. I wouldn't put icing sugar on all of your stuff that you made because inevitably you're gonna wanna nuke this in the microwave to um, eat it because you know it gets cold and then you want to sprinkle your icing sugar then or your cinnamon sugar okay so just leave some bare like that so we're gonna have to give some of this stuff away because I can't have, the, have all these sweet things in here right Joe? <laughs> I'm sweet enough right? <laughs> I stunned him <laughs> this show is not scripted at all <laughs> tomorrow is what um what do you call the thing Joe? it's Halloween but Joe doesn't call it Halloween what do you call it? Trick or treat. Joe says when is it gonna be trick or treat? When is that's what he calls it, trick or treat. And I told you the holiday is called Halloween. I know. So you guys stay safe tomorrow. And I will go live tomorrow at the channel still. I don't know who all is going to come on because some of you have small kids or grandkids. But I'm going to go live at my regular time between 6.15 and 6.30 Pacific Standard Time. I'm enjoying my Tuesday night live, okay? My Tuesday nights live. Anyways, babe, what's up? You going to taste? Oh, let me taste one without the sugar thing on it. Want a piece? I already taste behind your back. At least they, at least they confess. Mm, 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 mm. The oven finally came up to 350, and it still takes a half hour to bake these. Okay, not 15 minutes like what the recipe says. The ones that were baking at 325 took like 45 minutes. Those are pretty good. Not bad. If you're into coffee or tea, you could do that. Yeah. I'm not into none of that. Your coffee or tea. And... Mm -mm. Let me taste one with the icing sugar. Mmm. This is gooder. <laughs> sugar for me. Mmm. This is gooder. Mmm. 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 Bye, guys. Bye, folks. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. Don't forget to check out Bear Pantry Talk for product reviews or Babs Bear Talk for daily vlogs. Also follow me on social media. All links are listed below.